So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video. Today I'm going to showcase to you guys how you can cheese the fire giant boss who is or can be a pain in the, you know. How's it going guys? My name is DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the fire giant boss located within the mountaintops of the giants. Uh, if you're up here and you're searching for this, you know why. Well, yeah, it's, it's one of the late, later stage bosses, guys. But remember this if you ain't here yet, because it just makes this whole battle a lot, lot easier. You don't even have to use any attacks or anything. It's quite straightforward. So, okay, so let's start the fight. Let's initiate the battle. I'll show you exactly what you have to do. Now, like I said, it's, it's relatively straightforward, but it will require a little bit of work on your behalf. And don't forget there's two phases to this as well. It works with both phases. Uh, so yes, as soon as you start, jump on your horse and just sprint straight towards him. Just sprint as fast as you can right towards him. Now you can do two attacks. The one we wanted to do is not that one, but jump off your horse and dodge. Jump back on your horse, guys. And then just aim for his legs. Go in between his legs and you're good. Now run behind him. And you want to bring him up here. You want to bring him up here because we're going to make him fall to his doom and what we need him to do guys is come up on this rock right in front of us so we need to bring him around this way and up onto here and what we'll do when he gets close guys is we're going to jump down around the sides down there which we should which we'll do in a second we've got to get him as soon as he does an attack you'll, you'll wait for his attack as soon as he starts to do any kind of attack just go for the jump and then they're like that. Let's go for the jump, guys. And then here you can jump off your horse because you can't avoid that. You know the one where he like he scoops up the earth with his plate or whatever he's holding. You can't avoid that on your horse, so it's best to jump off. Now, him up there and you down here. The only attack he can hit you with is the one where he scoops up the earth with his plate. So once he does that, guys, just dodge towards it. I'm not sure if you use a shield, you can block it. Haven't tried that to be honest. So when he's up there, you can see he can sometimes get stuck there, but it don't matter. He's obviously walking around. See, that that can't hit you. Now, guys, you want to come here. Oh, there's my other runes, even though I've got none. He's going to jump down. And there you go. And there you go. Now, there is a sl so there's a, a rare chance that he'll fall down and he won't die. And let's skip this. Okay, so within the second phase, guys, we're doing things a little bit different. We're going to go behind him to the left here. And we're going to want to draw him all the way up to as far top left as we can get. Avoiding those fire attacks which will beam you. They are pretty powerful, I'm not going to lie. So we just want to sit here and there is an area effect damage on some of them. Actually, it's charging me a lot faster than normal, but that's all good. But as long as we get up, up, up on that rock there, we're fine. So we want to draw him as far up here as we can, guys. There's no holding back here as well. We don't have to wait for him to throw any attacks. We just jump straight back down. So you can see he's over that way. We want to get him. Don't worry about the slow firing projectile balls. They're not too bad. Then we just jump off, guys. And then we're good. Now we're here. Oh, just my horse has just took damage. Jeez. And my character. That's not good. Okay, so here we want to draw him off the big rock. Because here, guys, he would just crawl off. He would just crawl off. Now, as I was saying about the, uh, the first phase... Uh, I've heard people say and hear that uh, he'll jump down and he'll take no damage. That can happen if he lands weirdly. Also, it seems like there's an invisible wall at the top that can also seem to be in the place if that's happening. Just make sure he's got your attention to move left and right and he will become unstuck. Um, but yeah, it's definitely still working. I'm doing this now on the... It's basically the 7th of um, in March. Yeah, March. So it's basically the 7th of March. You can see, look, he's a bit too far to the right there. You see he's a bit struggled, so we want to bring him a bit to the left. But we want to get him on that big rock right here. But the only way to turn his attention is to move with him. So yeah, once he starts moving, guys, just come across. And don't forget, these this flame attacks have got some crazy area of effect. Now also, guys, there is a chance he can drop down here. And also take half damage, which is weird. Haven't seen it myself. Oh, I want to move out of that. Yeah. There's a chance you can take half damage, which I hope happens. So I can showcase to you guys. You're just simply just kiting back around, I guess. 
Yeah, them things are brutal. And there we go, guys. He's just dead. Simple as that. But if you just drop down and he takes half damage, um, I guess you can just kite him back around, or you could start you could start it again. But yeah, it definitely still works, hundred uh, percent. So yeah, guys. Also, I do want to say uh, this video was sent to me by my pal on Discord. It belongs to a guy called Gaming with Abyss. I've changed a few tactics, but either way. He was the original uploader, so full credit to this dude. His channel can be found linked below. But there we have it, guys. If you're struggling on the fire giant, hopefully this will have you covered. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see, want to see more Adam Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.